Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Jamaican Breeze. Now, I've adapted this recipe from Willie Shine's recipe. At the time that he created it, he was a bartender and a brand ambassador, so that completely informed his decision on exactly what ingredients he used. Now, as I said, I've adapted the recipe, so rather than using a piece of ginger and muddling it, I'm actually using some ginger liqueur that'll give me a little bit more spice and a little bit of sweetness to help balance everything out. And I've changed the rums that I'm using, but still keeping that Jamaican flavor. And it's a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking glass and then first grab your one-to-one -one simple syrup. And when I say one-to-one, -one, I mean one part water, one part sugar, heat it up till it goes clear and is completely incorporated, throw it in the fridge, good for up to six months. And you know what? It's never gonna last that long anyways. So we need a half an ounce or 15 mils. The second ingredient that we're going to use today is pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. You can choose to use whatever you want. Just remember that if it has sugar added, what will happen is you will create an, ex an exaggerated form of sweetness, which will knock the balance out. We're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. The third ingredient that we're going to use is some Angostura bitters. Now, if you're using a regular bottle, you would just use one dash. However, I'm using a Japanese dasher. So we're going to use two dashes. Now that we've added our base, what we're going to do is start with our ginger liqueur. Now I'm using Domaine de Canton. It's a 28% ABV ginger liqueur. It's really, really quite good. But what we'll do is we'll now use half an ounce, which works out to 15 mils. Next, we're going to use our base spirits. Now, originally he called for an Appleton eight-year-old reserve rum. However, what I've chosen to do is actually bump up the value of the ABV a little bit. And we're going to start this with a little bit of Fortress rum, which is originally a Jamaican rum, then brought up to the East Coast of Canada and aged on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. So we're going to start this with three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. The next ingredient that we're going to use to build our base is Smith & Cross. Now it is an overproof Jamaican rum and it's at 57% ABV, unlike the Fortress rum, which is 45%. So this is going to be a strong drink. And if you find that it's a bit strong about your original sip, then you can always add a little bit more pineapple juice just to thin it out slightly. And, but we'll use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our next step in the process is to add ice to your shaking glass. So what we wanna do is we wanna shake this thoroughly for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So make sure you get a good glass full of ice, slap your lid on there, move this stuff out of the way, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. All right, so what you wanna do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand pineapples, put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. I'm going to use a double rocks glass and you wanna fill this with fresh ice. So just add it up there. Uh, don't use crushed ice, although you could. Um, just depends on what you have available. And what we're going to do now is just strain this in, not worrying about any little chips of ice. Look at this gorgeous drink. You even get a little bit of foam on top, all because of the pineapple juice. So what you'll do is you'll garnish it with a lime wedge like so. Give it a sip. Oh, that is really good. You immediately get the rum, but it's not overpowering. You get slight hints of ginger. It's not something that'll throw it out of balance. It just gives you a little bit of zip and it's nicely sweet with the pineapple juice and a simple syrup. It is a fantastic cocktail. If you like this style of drink, take a look right here.